Hey guys, welcome back for another demo. Okay, so this one is from Sweet Shop of Horrors. This is her ice cream cone, and it is just absolutely adorable. Look at the detail. It's an ice cream cone. It's got drizzle on it. It's embellished. It's got little horror sprinkles. It's got an eyeball. Okay, so this one's scented in chocolate and vanilla swirl, and so it's just so cute. Okay, so these weren't on her site for a long time. I think she did a custom order, and then she put just a few extra ones on her um, shop to sell as well, but I scooped up two, and I've got one in my Halloween giveaway, so if you haven't already entered that, go ahead um, a couple videos back and look for the details to go ahead and enter that. But anyway, um, and that one's got a green eye. This one's got a blue one. So, um, oh, they're just so cute. Okay, so what I discovered when I unpackaged this one from the wrapper is that I'm pretty sure that the top portion of this is a bubble bar and the bottom part is bath bomb. So what I think I'm gonna do is perform surgery on it, so to speak, and separate the top part from the bottom part. I think if I just kind of dunk it all in together, I don't think that's gonna make for a very good demo, and I don't think it's going to, um, I just don't think it'll go very well. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. Now that could be a disaster. It might not go well, it might just totally fall apart, but um, I think that's what I'm gonna try and do. And we'll do the bath bomb part first, and then I'm gonna try if this will all come off, the top part, if it'll all come off in one piece, kind of. Um, we'll put it in the strainer and then see what that looks like. So let me go ahead and try to do that. Um, like I said, it may not work. But that's my plan, and then I'll be back in just a second. Did I say this smells like chocolate vanilla swirl? <laughs> if I didn't, it smells just like an ice cream cone. Okay, so I'll be back in a minute. Yay, I did it, I did it, it worked. Okay, so that's what it looks like with all the ice cream scooped off of it. And now if I'm wrong and that's not bubble bar, I'll feel a little bit foolish, but I'm pretty sure it is because it's pretty soft and it's that consistency. So anyway, let's go ahead and put this in and see what we get. And it's kind of heavy and it's really dense, so I don't know that it's gonna float, but I don't know, we'll see. And if it doesn't, I might just hold it, I don't know. Like I said, we'll see. Ooh, that's pretty. Those are really pretty colors. That looks like bath melt right there. The little, um, the drizzle. Yeah, those are really pretty colors. Yeah, I just, I want to see those colors, so I'm going to hold it. But no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, um, float by itself. It's just super dense and heavy and, um, you know, packed in that mold. So that's why, that's why a lot of them, if they do float, that's why. And, you know, I'm willing to sacrifice that for a really cool mold and a really cool bomb and design. And, you know, it's really not that big of a deal sometimes. So this watercolor, you're seeing it pretty well. It's turning um, just a really pretty, like, lavender or lilac -y color. It looks to have a little bit of shimmer in it. It's cool the way that's fizzing away. Cool little pattern. Let's see what's left. You got those pretty colors on top. There's not much underneath left. A little bit of the cone, and that's it. It's really soft. Okay. So, color of the water. It is really, really pretty. Yeah, it's just a really pretty lilac, I would say. Ooh, it's really soft. Ooh, I got a little bit of stain on my hands. Um, 
I mean, of course you saw me just totally get that and crush it in my hand. Really, really pretty light purple color. But, um, but yeah, my hand is also really, really soft. Um, so there's still, there's a little bit of foam around the edges of the tub and just a little bit of that purple. So it's really, really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna put the, um, well actually the top of the, um, the bubble bar is already in the strainer. So I'm gonna go grab it and we'll see what kind of bubbles we get. All right, y'all, so here's for a look from the top. I, I've been taking so many extra pictures of these for Instagram that I, I forget to do like all the little parts I normally do in my, in my demos, but look at that gorgeous water. So, so pretty. I love the color. The pattern on the top is awesome. So um, there's a shot of that before we do the bubbles. All right, so here's our little ice cream scoop. We're gonna get it under the water and see how many bubbles it can make. I actually had to drain a little water out of my tub because like I said, I didn't realize that I thought this was a bubble bar until I got it unpackaged. But let's go ahead and see what it can do. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the colors. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, my water is on way too high. Oh, wow. Oh, look at the colors. Here goes the eyeball. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love it. I love it. I obviously don't mind making a mess in here. Y'all, I clean this bathroom like 24-7, it feels like. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. Well, it's obviously a bubble bar. It obviously was a bubble on the top. Look at the color. Okay, let's look at the color of the water just right there. It's so pretty. It's like tri-colored, like night sky, purple, blue, green. So pretty. Okay, so that's like a bath melt um, portion on the top. So that might, or you know what? It might be soap. I don't know. I'll be using the eyeball is plastic, but I'm going to go ahead and turn that off because um, I'm going to obviously get more bubbles when I turn the jets on. I'm gonna wipe this, um, all this splatter up. I'll get my little eyeball of the strainer. Let's see, let's take a look at it. Just a little embellishment. I think it might be soap that she used to um, attach that on there. But anyway, so there's her little eyeball. I always like to put um, little embellishments on the side there. Let's see. All right. All right. Look at that water now, it's so, so pretty. So we've got a little more like indigo, um, blue, it's a little bit darker now. So um, let, me, let me move a couple of things out of the way and we'll hit the jets, hang on. All right, let's see how many bubbles we get now. Ooh yeah, that looks good, that's gonna be really, really nice. I am glad I let a little bit of that water out of there. Oh yeah, this is this is one of those um, bubblers that they just keep um, like they keep getting denser and they grow higher and higher. I can tell that it's just the longer I keep letting it run, they're just gonna get they're gonna get more intense and thicker. So. Yeah, I'm glad I let a little water out of there. But anyway, um, I'm gonna cut these off in just a couple of seconds and then we're gonna take a closer look and see um, just how thick and soft they are. So I let those run about one minute and this is what we have. Beautiful whipped creamy type of bubbles, I would call them. They're not super stiff. You're not gonna be able to just play with them and, and anything like that, but um, they're really, really pretty and creamy. All right, guys, so here's the final result of my ice cream bath from Sweet Shop of Horrors. My tub, honestly, it looks like I wasn't even in there. That's how much it left in my tub or how little it left in my tub. The color was really pretty. It was just like a light a lilac color, and I don't think there was really any shimmer in there. There wasn't any left on my skin, and there's obviously none left in the tub, but um, the scent, it wasn't really that strong. Um, I find that a lot of, like, chocolate or vanilla scents just on their own. They're not really that strong, but um, I really enjoyed it. It was very, very moisturizing and very, very bubbly. And just the design alone was just so 
so cute. So like I said, this was a bath bomb bubble bar combo. And if she offers them again this summer, which would be really cool, um, I would definitely pick one up. I think that would be a really cool summer bath bomb. So anyway, definitely go check out her shop if you haven't already. I don't know why you wouldn't have if you watch my channel, but um, she's always got some new stuff coming out all the time. So anyway, all of her links are listed down below and I appreciate you watching you guys and just stay tuned for new demos. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.